Hey guys, welcome back to Parker Meter Baboon. You're here with Jack. We're about to continue on. We've just done the sugar mission, so... Well, lack of sugar mission. I mean, we didn't get any sugar. We got our maps. We've met some people. We've seen some shiny things. We only got 90% on our last one, so not even 100%. So, we've got to see how I'm going to stay out of combat a bit more. But we're on our way to get our next mission. Do not know where that's going to be. Oh, well, what it's going to be. I know where it's going to be. It's going to be right over there. Where that exclamation mark is. What's up, boyfriends? I'm just going to walk with you for a bit. I like your hat. You like my hoodie? Yeah. They're in nowadays. It's going to... Yeah. Hmm. Can I touch you? No. You don't like being touched. Alright, let's go for a bit of a run. You're boring. Woo! Shit. People don't like being pushed around, do they? All their other boyfriends just come away out of the woodworks going, Why are you touching me? Got to dance with a few girls before. That was fun. But yeah, so back on it. Smashing out another episode. Been playing a bit of Pokemon. Adding some um nice fr Oh hang on, what's this mean? Hire. I don't know what the fuck I'd be hiring, so probably some guys just to beat the shit out of other guys whenever someone pissed me off or something. Alright, this place is fucking miles away. I'm finding another eagle place. I've seen one of those for a while. Alright. Hey, we're meeting the governor, I think. Buenos dias. Mr. Duncan Walpole of England to see the governor. I believe he is expecting me. Si, sí, señor Walpole. Entre, por favor. Really? So this guy's gonna let us in. All the other guys wanna fucking kill me. Hmm. Ese es el hombre? El ¿cómo lo llamabas? Asesino? Sí, Duncan Walpole. Debería haber llegado hace muchos días. No me gusta que los extranjeros se paseen por nuestra ciudad. No me fío de ellos. So I'm an assassin. El gobernador tiene invitado. Todos I guess that much. Parece que es Julio Opnam. No. Le supone un aspecto más Oh, how do is more animals that base? Can't run. So they don't want me to really piss bold around in here. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Would I be correct in thinking you are done? I am indeed. I thought as much. Woods Rogers. A pleasure. The same. I must say, my wife has a terrible eye for description. I'm sorry. My wife. You met her some years ago at the Percy's Masquerade Ball. Ah, quite. She called you devilishly handsome. Obviously a lie to stoke my jealousy. <laughs> <laughs> Julianne, our guest of honor has arrived, Mr. Duncan Walpole. Ah. Julian Ducas. <laughs> I hope your conversion to our order is an honest one. I have no love for assassins, but even less for liars. I have not come to disappoint. <laughs> Up for a bit of sport, Duncan? The old man isn't ready just yet. All right, we're going to shooting. You've got my two best pairs of matched pistols, Duncan, so handle them with care. If I had eight, I'd treat each as my own son. Pull off a few shots if you like, get a feel for it. <laughs> All right. I once fought beside a man who carried nine on his person. Here we go, I he want to draw you guns. Battle, but hindered his ability to swim, sadly. <laughs> Quite. I do kick, yes? I long for the day where one firearm carries four bullets. Not the opposite. Oh, got a reload. Press triangle to shoot the highlighted target. I have a friend in England you may like to meet you. James Puckle. He's working on something extraordinary. It's not too hard. Enough amusements, Duncan. How about a true challenge? Why not? All right. Here's a simple challenge. 
Try to strike every target before this hourglass empties. Remember, hit every target within the allotted time. Oh, gotta reload. Come on. Did I get it? <laughs> Too simple. Left at the last second, even. Duncan, where are your wrist blades? I've never seen an assassin so ill-equipped. Ah, damaged sadly beyond all repair. Uh-huh. Have your choice. Where did you find all these? <laughs> I did not find them. I took them. Is a souvenir. <laughs> well, that's how you get your spider back. Two blades. The custom, me. Custom, I. So you can teach me how to use them? Will you indulge us with a demonstration of your techniques? Well, uh, we must. We put together a training course in anticipation of your arrival. It would be a shame to leave here without seeing you in action. Yes, of course. Well, I mean, if there is time, I would gladly uh, show you what I know. Here. You see, situation is well suited to your skills have a go a blade in a crowd is always the simplest nothing grandiose just quick and clean so that's another technique this guy ingenious to use bales of hay for cover don't you think where have we got bales of hay Not there. Oh, hang on. Okay, so they're gonna get us to do a nice. God, that's the spirit. Secrecy. The advantage of surprise cannot be overstated, isn't that so? Especially around a blind corner. All right. Let's go. I just stood next to another guy. Nice. Like it. Highlighted a different one, but is it also possible to deliver a killing blow at high speed? Ooh, hello. God the way you throw that body around. Fascinating. We're off to hosts. Let's go. The assassins have trained you well, Duncan. You chose a perfect time to leave them behind. At great risk, I imagine. Betraying the assassins is never good for one's health. Well, neither is drinking liquor, but I am drawn to its dangers all the same. And what is your business here, sir? Are you an associate of the governor's, or a pending acquaintance like myself? Guns, blades, cannons, grenados. <laughs> Anything that may kill a man? I am happy to provide. Sweet. A smuggler of sorts. And how is your wife these days, Captain Rogers? Is she uh, here in Havana? I trust she's well, but I wouldn't know. I've been in Madagascar some 14 months hunting pirates. 
It took some work to dislodge the criminals there, but we managed it. In future, I hope to use these same tactics throughout the West Indies. He's but how do you in the neck. deal with that kind? Very simply. Most pirates are as ignorant as apes. I merely offered them a choice. Take a pardon and return to England penniless, but free men. Or be hanged by the neck until dead. Oh. I imagine Nassau would be your next target. Very astute, Duncan, indeed. Best of luck with that. Yeah, you don't mean it. Grandmaster Torres! Mr. Duncan Walpole has arrived. See. We were expected one week ago. Apologies, Governor. My ship was set upon by pirates. We were scuttled. I arrived only yesterday. Unfortunate. Forgive my caution, but were you able to salvage from these pirates the items you promised me? Uh, yes, sir. I was. Incredible. The assassins have more resources than I had imagined, but not nearly enough to deter us. It is a pleasure to meet you at last, Duncan. You are most welcome. Come, gentlemen. We have much to discuss. This guy in full suit of armor. The hell? Assassinate that shit. Get the blade right in the corner. Convened at last. And in such continental company. England, France, Spain. Citizens of sad and corrupted empires. But you are Templars now. The secret and true legislatures of the world. Please, hold out your hands. Mark and remember our purpose. To guide all wayward souls till they've reached a quiet road. To guide all wayward desire till impassioned hearts are cool. To guide all wayward minds to safe and sober thought. By the Father of Understanding's light, let our work now begin. Give me a gold ring. Decades ago, the Council entrusted me with the task of locating in these West Indies a forgotten place our precursors once called the Observatory. See here. Look up on these images and commit them to memory. They tell a very old and important story. For two decades now, I have endeavored to locate this observatory, a place rumored to contain a tool of incredible utility and power. It houses a kind of sphere, if you like. A device that would grant us the power to locate and monitor every man and woman on earth, whatever their location. Can't pick pockets, guy. What it would mean to have such a power. With this device. There would be no secrets among men, no lies, no trickery, only justice, pure justice. This is the observatory's promise, and we must take it for our own. Do we know its whereabouts? Oh, can't walk out. We will soon, for in our custody is the one man who does, a man named Roberts, once called a sage. It has been 45 years since anyone has seen a true sage. Can you be sure this one is authentic? We are confident he is. The assassins will come for him. Yeah, bring it on. Indeed they will. But thanks to Duncan and the information he has delivered, the assassins won't be a problem for much longer. All will be made clear tomorrow, gentlemen, when you meet the sage for yourselves. Until then, let us drink. Let us find the observatory together. For with its power, kings will fall, clergy will cower, and the hearts and minds of the world will be ours. Sweet. I got 100% this time. Sweet. Fuck. Alright, we're going to leave it there after we find out what the next thing is. Tomorrow the treasure fleet arrives, and with it, your reward. After which we will discuss further schemes. I look forward to it. Excelente. 
Meet me down at the docks first thing tomorrow morning. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, whatever. See you soon. Laters.